I am completely out of food, so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to go to Trader Joe's. The one that I go to is right down the street from Central Park, so I thought I'd take advantage of that situation and come check out the cherry blossoms. It's one of my favorite things about spring in New York is the cherry blossoms in Central Park, so let's go check them out. This is the Dakota. Unfortunately, it's most famous for being the location where John Lennon was shot. It's also where the movie Rosemary's Baby is set. Several famous people have lived here, including Lauren Bacall, all types of people, and uh, my next apartment will be here as well. I got my eye on this one right here. As soon as I win that lottery. Hey, we're about to head over to Strawberry Fields. This is the section of the park where John Lennon used to walk his son every day. So after he was killed at the Dakota, they dedicated this area of the park, which is just right across the street. There's always a band playing Beatles music and you'll see fans leaving little tributes and people write poetry. And it's interesting to see the reactions, you know, some kids dance and they just have no idea. They just enjoy the beat. And then you see other people weeping, you know. Um, it's the first place I went when I moved here. I sat down, ate a slice of pizza, set goals. So it's a very special place to me as well. Mission accomplished. The lighting is terrible. There we go. I left to go to the park yesterday at like three o'clock and I didn't get back home until almost 8 p.m. The MTA was just a nightmare getting home and the checkout line at Trader Joe's was unbelievable. I wish I had footage of it, but my phone died. Um, I'm about to return Mona of the Manor back to the library because I know there are people waiting on it, but I just wanted to talk about it before I take it back to the library. I'm very curious why the author felt like this book needed to be written and released. It's been a hot minute since the last book came out and I really didn't feel like this contributed anything really to the story. Um, there's some weird things that happen in the book. There's a run-in at a cruising spot with George Michael. And I'm not sure how he would feel about that and I guess we'll never know since he's dead. This is something that happened throughout the series where like the characters do stuff that would land them on true crime TV and we just are supposed to kind of like chuckle and be like ha 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 oh well well that happened you know and then move on with our lives. Overall it just felt dated and unnecessary to me. It was an enjoyable read. It's always fun I mean but it's kind of the equivalent of eating junk food. It was very similar to kind of reading book lovers, you know? I mean, anyway, uh, I don't understand why this is the last book in the series. I don't know if I believe that it's the last book in the series. Uh, it seems like a very strange note to end on, but the good news is I didn't buy it. I checked it out for my library. 2024 reading goals, We're doing the thing. Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm uh, about to make myself a real quick sandwich because I'm about to head over to the Mysterious Bookshop in Tribeca. I understand they have some signed copies of James by Percival Everett, and I really want a signed copy of that book. I've been waiting for it to come out, and today is the release day. So I'm gonna head down there and maybe pick up a couple of shirts while I'm out. I have, uh, I have to shoot some videos today 
um, cause I am working an event tomorrow that I can't talk about, but yeah, so I got a lot to do today and I intend to knock it all out. But first, a sandwich. <laughs> This is perhaps the most dystopian looking building in New York. It's part of the brutalist movement. You'll notice there are no windows on this building. Can you guess where I am? Ooh. When there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you gonna call? Good morning, sir. Good morning. You look adorable. What's up? Do you want to go out? <laughs> oh, you do? Are you feeling any better? Ace? Ace. Are you feeling better? Let me see him. Oh, goodness. Oh, I guess we're going to have to go outside. It's cold, Ace. Oh, goodness. I love that it's officially spring and we're still in the 20s here. Damn, Ace, you did a good job, bud. Look at you go. I just looked at the clock and it is 7 p.m. Where did the day go? Oh my God. Hey everyone, TGIF. I've got some really good news. I don't want to say it too loud because you know who might hear me, but this is the first day 
that Ace has gone without having any pain meds at all. I gave him one gabapentin, I think is what it's called, in the morning yesterday down to, he usually has two. So I only gave him one in the morning and then I didn't give him any in the evening and I didn't give him any this morning. Speaking of fingers, I'm going to try to not cut off another finger. I'm going to attempt to slice these tomatoes and make myself a nice sandwich. So if all goes well, I will see you soon. Oh, before I let you go, I finished reading Spring and I have started The Waters by Bonnie Jo Campbell. That's her name, Bonnie Jo Campbell. And um, I'm on page 40. I just finished chapter two and a big surprise was revealed. My only gripe is that I wish that the text was a little bit bigger. It's a lot of words on a single page for a hardback, but it's okay. We're getting through it. I could seriously be on that worst cook show. Okay, all right, decent job. I'd give it a B minus. It's Friday, 7.15, and I just hit 999 subscribers. That is wild. I'm one person away from a thousand. Uh, do you think it's gonna happen? The good news is that it hasn't gone backwards. We're still at 999. Ace is so thrilled. He's, <gasps> boom, it just happened. <laughs> I can't believe that. Look. That's crazy. Hey everyone, happy Saturday. It's raining, cats and dogs. Uh, but Ace had to come out here and do his thing. Yesterday was a big day. We hit a thousand subscribers on the YouTube channel and I got, had 200 people, ah, he's dragging me in the bushes. 200 people on my Instagram. So that's kind of a milestone for both, both platforms. Kind of neat that it happened on the same day. Um, Anyway, I better put up my phone before it gets ruined in the rain. But I thought I would share that. And um, I'll check in with you when we're back indoors. How's that? I'm in his spot. So yeah, yesterday was a really big day for the channel. That was pretty cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the past two days. We just might have to have seen missing Wednesday, I worked an event, and then Thursday, I laid in one position. I could barely, like, move. My body was so sore. And I, at one point, I picked up the phone, and I just went, oh, my God, it is 7 p.m. How is that possible? But I guess I needed the rest. I think it just all caught up with me. Um, and then Thursday, or no, that was Thursday. Friday, which was yesterday. I mean, it's what is... Do you see? Do you see what this week has been like? And then Friday, I finally had a little bit of mobility. I could get around. Oh, the big thing was I watched the tiny, the NPR Tiny Desk concert of Chapel Roan, who I had never heard of before. And I thought she was terrific. She reminds me a little bit of um, Cindy Lauper. So that is now the earworm that is stuck in my head. I probably have watched that NPR Tiny Desk concert about three or four times. It's really catchy music. I don't know where she came from, but uh, her music is great. I read a little bit more of The Waters. I'm about mm, maybe 65, 70 pages in now. It's a slow burn, but it's good. I just realized I didn't say anything about Allie Smith's spring. 
Um, that was the third book in the seasonal quartet. I have one left, Summer. It was a very kind of straightforward story, where the whereas the others haven't been. The only thing that was sort of like um, experimental, if you want to even call it that, is that there were passages that were dropped about maybe three times in the book that were unexplained. But then as you read the story, um, there is uh, an explanation that sort of comes forth, except for one. There's one I still can't figure out. It's like this terribly vulgar passage full of like, um, you know, derogatory language. And the only thing I can figure, I need to look it up. There's a song that's referenced and she says that there's terrible language in the song, but I can't imagine that being a song. There's no way that's a song. It was like if someone sent you a, a an email to make you feel like crap or to threaten your life, that kind of thing. Um, so I can't imagine that set to music, <laughs> but who knows? We can't all be chapel roans. Um, what else do I want to tell you? I still have five books on my March TBR. Obviously, I'm not going to get to, to all of them. There's no way. Um, those books are Orlando, Twice Lost, Magnolia Parks, Travels with My Aunt, and A Passage to India. And I know that the next one is going to have to be Orlando because I am seeing a stage adaptation by Sarah Rule on April 2nd. And I want to read the original source material before I see the play. Um, I have seen the Tilda Swinton movie, but I wanted to read the, the book by Virginia Woolf first. So, um, I don't know. We'll just carry those other books, I guess, into the next month, or we'll just save them for next time. There's no rules. That's the beautiful thing. Well, um, again, happy National Puppy Day. I will drop some pictures of Ace at the end of this when he was a, a young puppy. As always, thank you for sticking in there and watching these crazy little videos. Thank you for subscribing, uh, for feeding the algorithm. Ooh, do all the things. Yes, you guys are doing very well. I appreciate it. I really, truly do. And um, yeah, it's been a busy kind of crazy week. It could be crazier. I, I love a little chaos. Um, I will talk at you later. And until next time, Ace, tell them, happy reading.